Hey, we go with Coach Tay here. City to City DMV. Uh, we out here with Coach Masai from St. Francis High School here in Baltimore, Maryland. How do you feel about today's performance uh, with the scrimmage? It was actually uh, monumental for me because it's something that usually doesn't get done uh, within our community. We get the opportunity to be, you know, kind of exiled out of the uh, the, the leagues in our state. We get opportunity, something that's different, and, and it allows us to give young men opportunities to, to be, you know, have a platform, be exposed to the colleges, and to bring somebody else to be able to get that work with, and then they got some opportunities to go to college. It was, it was different. It was monumental. It was, it was very amazing, and it's, it's kind of unexpected and what I was going to feel. It feels good. Yeah, most definitely. With Corona being out the way, and uh, you're able to work out with your team without any distractions or anything, um, how's your energy going into this summer after the uh, spring ball and having a good outing today? So, you know, it's, it's a lot of humility. I mean, the reality is we're excited, the opportunity to keep working and bringing them every day. And, and what we always anticipate is that you're never good enough. Uh, each day we get up, we feel like we should get better than we were the day before, and then we look forward to working the day after. So for us as a program, um, there's a lot of young men that are transitioning to a leadership role, and then they're getting more playing time. And the best thing I like about it is that this gives them a chance to sharpen up for summertime and leading up to the season. So I feel good about it, but there's so much more work to be done, and this is really what the, the point of this whole process is for development. All right. You guys look good, Coach. I'm not going to hold you up. Let you get a chance to talk to your team and enjoy the rest of your day. Um, good day. I appreciate you for talking to us and hope to talk to you again, Coach Masai. Appreciate you. Thank you. we right. here with Coach LJ from Football North in Canada. Um, it's the second year in a row coming down to Baltimore, Maryland to compete against St. Francis in the scrimmage, man. Uh, what brings you back? We have a great relationship with Masai and everybody. Uh, as we always talk about Masai and I usually hate his people. In North America, no one wants to play us and things like that. So really, we just, you know what, he gave us this opportunity. We, we were planning for two years, but because of COVID, we couldn't do it. And uh, I think it's a great thing. Three days of joint practices. It was a great experience for all our kids and their kids. And just overall, it just makes us better, right? Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. The team looks great this year. Um, I know it was a rough going in the beginning, but you guys picked it up uh, towards the middle and the end of the scrimmage and started competing, started scoring touchdowns. Um, how does it how does it feel working with the guys without any restrictions and COVID protocols? Oh, it's and, great, um, you know, I tell everybody, I tell these kids everything. We feel tired and things like that. Don't want to practice. I think those last two years we couldn't do anything, right? How crappy it felt for all of us. So, you know, it's a wonderful experience. Like I said, I think uh, you know we just need to settle down at the beginning, right? You know, you're, you're playing one of the top teams in North America. Right? We understand that, but uh, for us, you know, we got better. And we're going to continue to get better every day. That's that's our motto. So. Okay. Um, so, do you guys do you have any interest from any colleges with your, uh, any of your players? On the yeah, team? a couple of D, our DND tackle are uh, pretty special. Our number five receiver that you know had a really good week. You know, a lot of teams here really like them. So we have four or five guys that are legit D1 players this year. So we're looking forward to. It. We're pretty young at all the other positions, which is okay. We'll, we'll, you know, it's that's the process, right? Yeah, it's definitely a process. Well, appreciate you, Coach Elsey, and I hope I see you again. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thanks a lot for the interview. Thanks, Coach. Right. Appreciate.